Okay, players. So let's once again talk about Frumpy Dump wreaking havoc on the United States of America by spreading vicious and blatant lies. This time, unfortunately, he's using Hurricane Helene, where over 200 people have died and hundreds of people are still missing. He has decided to spread lies regarding the Biden-Harris response to the hurricane. Let's talk about it. So because Frumpy Dump is now losing in the polls and he has no real clear-cut policies on how he's going to make America great again, he has once again resorted to lies and despicableness. The other day, Madam Vice President Kamala Harris announced that victims of Hurricane Helene are eligible for immediate cash assistance of $750. She never said that was the only assistance that you're going to receive. She said you are eligible for immediate cash assistance of $750. That means for food, medications, water, things like that. A frumpy dump scurried his ass on over to Devil is a Lie Social to wreak havoc and create chaos once again by exercising his tiny ketchup fingers to decree and declare, oh, victims of Hurricane Helene only get $750, but they sent $250 billion to Ukraine. But of course, Frumpy Dump once again failed to mention what his own administration was doing during the hurricanes. During Frumpy Dump's one term, when natural disasters would occur, eligible people would only receive $500 in immediate cash assistance from FEMA. But thanks to the Biden-Harris administration, that amount for immediate cash assistance has been increased to $750. Let's also talk about how FEMA's budget is determined and voted on by members of Congress, meaning your House members and your Senate members. So if you're mad about this little bitty $750 for immediate assistance, then you need to be mad at them, not President Biden and not Madam Vice President Kamala Harris because they aren't the ones who voted on how much money FEMA is getting to allocate to disaster victims. It is also important to note, again, that this $750 is for immediate assistance. This is for you to get the things that you need, basic household needs, food, medication, and things like that, while your application is processing. It's also important to note that in January of 2024, the Biden-Harris administration established the Displacement Assistance Program that was not there before. This is for victims of disasters that can't return home. So this helps them with shelter immediate help. And the one thing you don't have to worry about with the Biden-Harris administration is them doing what Frumpy Dump did during the California wildfires when he wanted to deny California aid until he found out that the counties that were affected were Republican voting counties. Then he decided to go ahead and give them the money. President Biden and Madam Vice President Kamala Harris are the president and vice president to all people. They're gonna do exactly what's right for all people, not just the ones that vote Republican. I'ma go ahead and keep it a stack with your players and y'all already know I can't do nothing but keep it 100. I can completely understand why people have skepticism when it comes down to dealing with FEMA. I'm from Louisiana. I was here during Hurricane Katrina. I completely understand that. But at the end of the day, what I cannot do is allow you to use the talking points of frumpy dump who is literally using a natural disaster as a political attack when he knows under his very own administration for um, direct assistance, people only got $500. The Biden administration worked to increase that to $750 in immediate assistance while your application is processing for the larger amount of help that you're going to need. Now, do I think that $750 is enough for immediate needs after someone has lost everything in a natural disaster? Absolutely not. And if you don't like that amount, then you need to talk to your members of Congress, your House and your Senate, because they have the power of the purse. Now, here's the number to get help from FEMA. If you are needing this assistance, please contact them. They understand that communication is lackluster. I heard that there are agents on the ground going door to door, uh, helping people that may need help. Also, if you're on the outside and you want to help, um, get in contact with some local organizations in those areas. Don't donate your money to Frumpy Dump. He's got a GoFundMe where he collected, uh, I believe it was five or six million dollars on it. And uh, quite frankly, we don't know how much of that money is going to reach the victims. Get involved with the local organizations that are on the ground that are doing the work. And another thing, there is uh, some misinformation regarding FEMA not having enough money to cover this disaster. So Frumpy Dump said 
that um, the money was going to migrants. That is a completely different set of money. Uh, that is not true. And also there is enough money to cover this disaster. Now the fundage may be running low due to the amount of natural disasters that uh, we have seen. Uh, but that's where you need to talk to your members of Congress so they can get in there and write some bills and pass some laws uh, to, to do something about co climate change. Uh, all these climate deniers. You need to talk to your members of Congress about that. And you also need to talk to them about that budget because they got the power of the purse. Okay? All right, players, put it in the comments. It's Double D Mo for the Black Hair News. Call 1-800-621-FEMA. That's 1-800-621-3362. Y Ana, si me permites en español, para las personas que nos están escuchando, necesitan ayuda, FEMA está brindando ayuda. El número telefónico es 1-800-621-3362.